And the body of uh, late former president of Zimbabwe, Robert Mugabe, will arrive in Zimbabwe tomorrow. Scores of locals have arrived at uh, the late Elder Stakeman's uh, rural village for a church service. As I earlier indicated, my colleagues uh, Sophie Mukwena, Peter Andoro, and of course uh, Crisalda Lewis are up and about all over Zimbabwe uh, during this uh, weekend of uh, morning. Let's now cross over to uh, Crisalda Lewis, who is uh, standing by. She'll be speaking to to Mugabe's cousin, Augustine Chidakwa, on his early life there. Good afternoon to you, Crisalda. I know you're very hot there in Zimbabwe. A lot of hard work uh, this past uh, weekend. What do you have for us? What is the latest? And really, what's the move there in Zimbabwe? Well, a very good afternoon to you, Flo. Indeed, uh, we are live uh, from Zimba, which is in uh, West Mashonaland. And this is uh, the rural village of uh, the later former president of Zimbabwe, Robert Mugabe. And uh, his body was scheduled to arrive uh, here this morning. But uh, uh, a couple of hours ago, we got word from the family spokesperson, Leo Mugabe, that the, fam that the body itself will now arrive uh, tomorrow. Uh, no reasons in particular were given uh, for now the delay, but uh, we do understand uh, from other sources that there is a possibility that the former First Lady, uh, Grace Mugabe, may not be feeling well. Well, the family has already said to us that uh, uh, if that is indeed the case, when we put that question to them, uh, it, it, it's highly likely because uh, they say, uh, you know, the death of her husband has indeed taken quite a toll on her. Now, this as preparations, of course, are being put uh, at the Heroes Acre Monument in Harare, where we have been broadcasting from. So in 30 days' time, uh, that burial then will take place. But the focus has very much moved to Zwimba now, where locals have come to pay tribute here at uh, the home of uh, the former, later, elder statesman. And they've come out in their numbers. Uh, they're attending a church service, which is taking place uh, just behind me here. There's a lot of singing and dancing that's taking place, despite an announcement that the body will now only arrived tomorrow. They've uh, maintained their seats and continued in praise and worship as well. So you can only imagine what will happen here tomorrow when eventually the body does arrive. We've spoken to quite a number of people about, uh, you know, the presidency of uh, the late uh, former president of uh, Zimbabwe. We've spoken about his political career, but uh, we hardly speak to anyone who uh, talks to us about the early life of this man, the early life of uh, the former president of Zimbabwe, Robert Mugabe, when he was still herding cattle. This is where he used to herd cattle, all before it became about politics. Let me speak now to someone who never left Zwimba, who uh, continued to stay here, still stays here now, and uh, knows uh, in great detail about the early life of uh, the late former president. His cousin, Augustine Chidakwa, joins me now. Mr. Chidakwa, thank you very much for your time, sir. I really do appreciate it. Mr. Ch Chidakwa, let's talk about the early life of uh, the late uh, former president. What was it like for him here in, Ch in, in Zwimba? Life was a bit sour. Life being sour, he used to live here. That's where the, the mother and the grandmother used, used to live here. Robert and his brother Donatus, Sabina and Bridget, used to live here. And all these Leos and company. When uh, Robert did attend the school here, uh, from here he went to Fort Hare. After Fort Hare, he was in Guelo uh, at teaching. Being a teacher, he taught so many, so many children. And from there, he was at Mpandeni School. From Mpandeni, then into uh, Northern Rhodesia, Zambia, where he taught at Mnali, Mnali Secondary School for several years. From there, he went to Ghana. From Ghana, where, where he married uh, Sally. Yes, I was in Guero. Being in Guero, we had, we, I had my brother Stephen. 
Well, he had no place somewhere to stay. He came at my place and my wife. And he stayed there at Mpopoma. He lived there for, for several months. From there, uh, he went back to, to teaching. He taught in, at, at what? I've forgotten the, 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 the school. Mr. Uh, uh, you know, sorry to catch you there. What was he like in the early days uh, with you here? I mean, everyone talks about his political life. Uh, uh, the young Robert Mugabe, what was he like? He was herding cattle here. Yeah. Uh, when did you notice, uh, you know, the politics within him? He was herding cattle here. I noticed politics in him when he came back from uh, Ghana. Uh, he joined the other nationalists like Marere and uh, JZ Zia Papa, he was his friend. From there, well, he, we lost uh, Joseph Msika. No, 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 not Joseph Msika. Uh, what is it? We lost him in politics. And Paraniatwa, uh, he he headed with the with the train, and this was caused by an enemy. He died. We had to bury him. Then from there, he got married to Sally. When he got married to Sally, we were still with him. Right, he being his brothers, uh, he went to Highfields. That's where his house house is. He stayed there at Highfields. Then from Highfields, he went to where did he? Talk to us, Mr. Chitagwa, about the young Robert. Okay, at the time when he was herding cattle, what was he like? He was, he was just an ordinary boy. Uh, being an ordinary boy, you stay with other kids, but you would see him, his leadership inside. Of course, he, he had his brother Michael. We lost Michael. And then they, they remained here. Uh, when he died, the other nationalists, not 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 the, 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 the um, uh, Robert, uh -uh. the Michael, the other nation, nationalists came. They mourned together with him. Well, I was there. There was uh, somebody like oh, I've forgotten him. Yes. Um, he disturbed their talk. They were here. Uh, there was uh, the, 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 the European who came from Chinoy. He wanted to disturb their meetings. He was told he, he, was told he, they, he wanted to, to, to hit him. Is, is this uh, 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 the, the late former president? Not, not oh, yet, yeah, the late Michael. Michael, Michael, not Michael, his brother. Okay. Michael is his brother. Yes. So talk to us a bit about the, the late former president, you know? I mean, uh, you grew up here. He grew up here. That's Tell us about his early life before it all became about him being president. Before being being president, he went to Zam. He went to to what? What? In the, the what is it? Uh, is it the, what? Got, uh, which is this? This northern country. This eastern country. Uh, where, where, where? Which was this country? Okay, maybe we should shift from that. In terms of his early life here, if you could explain to us here, you know, what, what was he fond of? What did he like doing? You know, talk to us about, about the intimate times that you spent together here. He, he, he wanted, you, you used to plow with him. 
head in Ketro, then uh, tying, tying some oxen, and uh, we went together at the field. Then from there, there was what, we, what is known as Doro. Doro is a, a, a place where rice is grown. He was, I was, I was staring cattle. Uh, uh, he, he used to get hold of the, the hole. Then we plowed. After plowing from there, we, we came home. Right? We had our sadza. From sadza, we were tired. We sat behind the, the house. And uh, we slept there for quite some time. Then later, we had to inspan oxen again. Yes. Then we drew, we had to plow this, this other part. Mm. Finishing it, we, we went to sleep. Right? He used to, he was fond of reading, fond of um, plays with other boys, like, like being a boy. I, I, was, I was very young, you see? I am, there, are, there are about four people before me, right? Uh, so I was young. So what are some of your fondest memories with him? I know that you were young, but what do you most remember now as young boys here in Zwimba, right. growing up in the rural villages? That's right. Uh, he ascended, of course, to become president right. of uh, this country. What do you most remember from what you guys did here? Well, we used to go to Unyani for fishing and uh, even swimming. Uh, from there, we used to come home. Then uh, he used to, uh, well, he be, him being an elderly boy, he used to read. He used to do a lot of reading. Then he, and he used to go to the mission for reading. There was a, a, a friend of him called Cuttlebed. Yes. Being together, they used to talk about war. One day we'll be at war. Of course, he didn't go to Zambia. Yeah. He went straight to Mozambique. Yeah. We were there at home. We had David. Yeah. David is young brother. Yeah. Uh, we had the, our Ambuya called Catherine. Catherine is, is, is a spiritual ambuya. In your much later years, Mr. Chidagwa, I mean, a lot has happened. Um, of course, uh, he was uh, removed, um, you know, as uh, the president. That's right. I mean, how do you personally feel about that? Feel is there ever a time that you said, leave it alone, uh, Robert, as you refer him to? I, 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 used, I used to be bitter about him because him to, to me was just a friend, not, not a, a, a brother. He was just a friend. He used to say a lot of things. And uh, he used to do a lot of things for me. Well, I was there at school. He used to buy me some shoes and this and that, and uh, clothes, right? Well, my father was here at home. His, his, his father has, had died already. Yeah. That's right. Now, we used to, we used to go to, to prayers. In the night prayers, the mother had the rosary, we had to do rosaries mm. each and every night. Yeah. Uh, he was there as, as, as the leader of the family. Mm. Then uh, when he went to war, he came back. I received him at the, at the end. 
at uh, Highfield. Yes. Well, things were bitter, and he was a hero. And now, uh, I mean, the later years uh, must have been quite difficult for you as a family. Very. Why would you say very? I mean, he was uh, also, uh, you know, I heard uh, Mr. Leo Mugabe say that, uh, you know, he died a bitter man. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He was, he was so bitter about it. But, uh, well, he isolated himself at, at that place where he, where he died because he was bitter. They removed him. The removal of him, uh, well, it was so painful. It's, uh, they said, he, they, they sacked him from the bed. And uh, he was bitter about it. I, I, I and everybody else of, of our family was bitter about it. This is why sometimes it took us time to receive, well, talks from, 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 from the party. Well, I, ref I even refused to go to the party. Even my son, uh, he didn't like it. Did he feel betrayed? Did he ever talk to you about that betrayal? Well, I had no time because he was in, in Singapore. That's right. Yeah. So, I, I, I know I, I'm going to talk to, you, to his wife. They, they were bitter about it. We, all of us were bitter. The whole family. But we, we couldn't help it. Uh, but the whole country, it spread to the whole country because he was a leader of this country. And uh, a leader of the whole of Africa. He was bitter about it, and we were all we were all very humiliated. Well, we felt as if we didn't do anything for the country, and yet our son fought for us. Now, you know this is why sometimes it was very hard to cooperate with the party to put him as a leader of this country. But we, we saw that the world, what will the world say? Yeah. We will have betrayed our own son. Yeah. We had to accept what was there. Yeah. That's right. And we are, well, we, we are a bit happy. But not to the most. Yeah. We feel some of, some of the things must be done. Well, as uh, well, they must compensate to our family what they did. Are you talking about uh, the government or the party? Well, it must be the, the, the government and the party because they, they are all in one. That's right. Well, what, what do you mean compensate you as a family? Well, in Shona. We say Kuripa Ngozi. Ngozi Avatore. You see? To it's like killing someone. When you kill someone, you must compensate. In short. Are you saying that the party killed? Is that what you're insinuating in terms of the last years? Yes, yes. The last years were bitter about him. And yet, he helped the country, he helped everybody, he helped the nation as a whole. But they did him down. You see? What would be the best compensation for you as a family? An apology? An apology wouldn't be enough. They must pay Mombe. Mombes. In Shona. Kuripangozi. Zaitwa. See? They must. Otherwise, uh, we, are not, we are not happy about it, mm. you see? So, although, these are, these are my feelings. Yes. The whole family, 
the whole family, even the chiefs, the ward, everybody is bitter about it. You see? But we don't know what's, what will happen. Just finally, uh, sir, would it, um, is that why we have seen uh, such delays and talk? Yes, yes, yes. Because uh, every member of the family didn't like him to go to he Hero's Acre. We liked even him to stay the Matangas, build something, something there, and keep him. Who knows? You they would might... have also wanted him to be buried here? Yes. You see, he wanted to be buried here. But uh, as a nation, we have got to be with, uh, with the others. Yes. Thank you so much uh, indeed uh, for your time, Mr. Augustine uh, Chidagwa who is a cousin to the later former president of Zimbabwe, Robert Mugabe. Clearly, from what he is saying, he says, of course, these are his views. He says the former president really died a bitter man. In fact, the entire family was bitter, of course, following the way in which they say that the former president was removed from office. And they're saying, he says, that some form of compensation should be given to the family, not just an apology. Apology, he says, should not be enough. And uh, I think one really gets the sense there, Flo, that, um, you know, um, there's a lot more that needs to be told between the relationship between uh, the Mugabe's at the moment and uh, the party, uh, which, of course, Mr. Augustine Chidakwa, his cousin, says he fought alongside. So, uh, you know, at this stage, I think um, as uh, this uh, body uh, comes to his um, uh, rural village uh, tomorrow, certainly a lot more would need to be said about the relationship between the Mugabe family and the government at the moment. And what clearly it seems to be is that uh, uh, as we've had it all along that uh, you know uh, the, the delays within which we've seen uh, you know the body of uh, the former president not being buried and the talks between the two some consensus not being reached until uh, just uh, a, a few days ago about where he will be buried uh, is in part due to some of these clashes if I may between the family and the government. All right, uh, Crisalda, thank you very much uh, for that. Uh, that's my colleague, Crisalda Lewis, who is in Jvimba, uh, in Zimbabwe.